Magandang araw mga fellow gun enthusiasts. Ngayon ay uh, March 6, 2024 na. So, it's now been pretty much two days since huli nating update dito sa malaking development sa Philippine gun privileges natin which is yung lifting ng ban on semi-auto rifles in 5.56 and 7.62 caliber and well, pretty much all pointed bullets. So, Ngayon, pag-uusapan na natin yung mga latest developments. Since sa last update natin dito, marami nang nangyari. Uh, kumalat na yung balita na malilift na itong ban na to, and the mainstream media has begun reporting on this issue. And after having seen a lot of these articles, I can say that a lot of them did it very abysmally. Terrible. So anyway, tingnan natin ngayon. Let's look at these updates on how the mainstream media is reporting here. So, um, it's very important to note that I would like to also point out one of the big things that Jason uh, talked about this issue. You can check it out dun sa channel niya at Jose Rizal Adventures. In which sinasabi niya doon, and I totally agree with this, na that the mainstream media is reporting this issue as if Filipinos were never allowed to own semi-auto rifles ever and this just happened this week. This is entirely inaccurate. In fact, Filipinos have been allowed to legally own semi-auto rifles and even at some point in our history, even fully automatic rifles prior to 2013. These are select fire rifles. And after the implementation of Republic Act 10591, from 2013 to April 2017, we were allowed the privilege to own semi-auto rifles in pointed bullet calibers like 5.56 and 7.62. But if you're going to look at these mainstream media articles, it would seem like we just got that this week, as I mentioned. So let's look at these articles. Um, very uh, uh, strangely written articles, okay? So um, from GMA News Online, PNP allows civilians to own semi-automatic rifles. So guys, just to clarify, the PNP is enforcing the law. Okay, that's that's their job. The PNP enforces the law. And since 2013, uh, we've had Republic Act 10591, which allows civilians to legally own semi-automatic rifles. So what the PNP is doing is that they are just simply lifting the presidential decree by uh, Duterte, well, we don't even know if it was uh, Duterte, actually. It was from the office of the president. The presidential management staff made that memo. Back in, 20, in April 2017, they banned it because of Marawi. And the PNP just enforced that ban. And now they are lifting it. So from Jimmy News Online, Philippine PNP allows civilians to own semi-auto rifles. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of news here. Um, and again, uh, the title is misleading. The PNP doesn't allow civilians to own semi-automatic rifles. They simply allow the law to take effect, which is Republic Act 10591. The Philippine National Police does not make laws. They enforce it. Okay, So they, they're just the implementing uh, uh, government organization on this. So they lifted the ban. Okay, so the law allows us to own semi-automatic rifles. It's just that the PNP lifted the ban. And when you say semi-automatic rifles, it's important to note that semi-automatic rifles in 5.56 and 7.62 caliber because semi-automatic rifles can also be, for example, 22 caliber semi-automatic rifles and PCCs. Okay, so they should have uh, specified that. And it does specify it in this caliber, but they didn't really go into too much detail here. So anyway, that's from GMA News Online. Um, so uh, they did say a lot of uh, things over here. Some of it is accurate, but I find that the title is, uh, is misleading. So anyway, we're now going to move on to this next article from Inquirer. Civilians may soon own semi-automatic rifles. 
PNP. Uh, again, the title is very misleading. As I mentioned before, the law allows us to own semi-automatic rifles. It's just that the PNP is lifting the ban on semi-automatic rifles. So there you go. And, uh, and another article over here, this one's a YouTube video from 24 Horas. Mga sibilyan, papayagan na ulit na bumili at magmay-ari ng matataas na kalibre ng armas. So again, they are using the wrong term. Tinagalog lang nila. Matataas na kalibre ng armas or high-powered firearms in English. So again, um, the PNP is simply lifting the ban. They are not really, uh, you know, inventing a new law here or anything like that. It's important to note the difference of those things because, uh, yeah, I am happy that the PNP is now lifting this ban, uh, guys. But it's also important to note that uh, this law has been around since 2013 already, okay? So this is not new no matter what the mainstream media tells you. And you will also notice in a lot of this mainstream media news coverage, there's a lot of uh, comments over here. But I will, uh, I will uh, get to that comments later. Get to these comments later. For now, let's just move on. So according to this from UNTV, pwede na sa mga sibilyan ang semi-auto rifle, semi-automatic rifle. So again, the PNP is lifting the ban, all right? They are lifting the ban on semi-automatic rifles in 5.56 and 7.62 caliber, but Filipinos have always been allowed to own semi-automatic rifles. It was just banned in April 2017. And now we move on to this next article from, uh, from GMA News. PNP allows civilians to own semi-automatic rifles. This one in Facebook. By the way, guys, I will post all of these links to these videos and articles at the description of this video. You can check them out below and see for yourself what's going on here. Um, so you can judge and decide for yourself what's going on. So again, another uh, misleading article from the title itself. Okay, so... The news does report what the uh, PNP uh, spokesperson said, um, and they did report on that one uh, fairly. So, Police General Jean Fajardo, uh, Police Colonel uh, Jean Fajardo, that would be Police Colonel Jean Fajardo. She was the one who uh, delivered this news to the media. So, again, uh, the PNP reported it correctly, they delivered it correctly, but again, the mainstream media titles can be quite misleading. And again, here is another one from ANC News. Um, PNP allows civilians to own semi-automatic rifles. The PNP, again, is not allowing civilians to own semi-automatic rifles. They're just simply lifting the ban that was uh, put in place by the Presidential Management Staff, Office of the President, back in April 2017. Republic Act 10591, since January 2013, allows civilians to own semi-automatic rifles. Okay, guys, it's important. So now, um, if you're going to watch all of this news videos, and I will, again, post the, the, script, the links to these videos below, you will find that they also interviewed a lot of anti-gun groups, and all of them are having a meltdown over this issue. And they are complaining about it. There are also a lot of scary comments here by people who are not so uh, well informed on this subject matter expert. A lot of them are saying that this is a signal that World War III is upon us. There's going to be a war with China. Uh, there's going to be mass shootings here in the Philippines. There's going to be school shootings here in the Philippines. We're going to become like... The United States of America, where, where it becomes the wild, wild west. These are all very scary comments. I can guarantee you, folks, that a lot of this isn't really accurate. The Philippines has a very different firearms licensing process compared to that of America. We do go through a lot of testing, including drug tests, neuropsychiatric evaluations, to eliminate people who may have uh, a problematic uh, attitude towards firearms. So a lot of this is really, um, a lot of these comments I find are uh, very fear-mongering. A lot of them are quite misinformed. 
it's very important to note that here in the Philippines, um, people are statistically not into these activities, okay? They really aren't. And you can check the statistics. We do not have mass shootings here, school shootings here. But somehow people seem to think that if you hand someone a semi-automatic rifle, that's the first thing that they're going to do. This is not accurate. This is, uh, I think that this paints uh, lawful Filipino gun owners in a, in a bad light. And this is not accurate. So again, um, um, it should be noted that this is not how Filipino gun owners should be uh, uh, construed. Um, if you're going to look at the statistics, pretty much around only 2% of all gun-related crimes are done with licensed firearms. The 98% of them are done with illegal firearms. And no matter how much you license firearms, illegal firearms will be used to do crime. It's ridiculous to think that someone will legally buy a semi-automatic rifle only to use it in a crime. They're not going to do that. So let's continue, guys. But before we do that, um, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this uh, video, if you like this channel, so that you can stay updated on Philippines' latest gun privileges. So now we move on to a very important thing that a lot of you are now asking. Charles, when can we really expect semi-auto rifles to be made available to civilians again so that we can buy them and they will, released into, they will be released into our possession? So it's important to note, guys, that when PNP uh, Police General uh, Silo made that announcement, he said that it was already approved. And legally, um, that means that he knows something that is very important and that this will probably be in our uh, be restored now but approved doesn't mean it is effective and binding guys okay because here in the philippines every time that something like this is gonna be done it has to be published guys okay it has to be published in mainstream media news outlets and up law uh, center so that's just how it is according to the article 2 of the civil code of and the case of Tanyada versus uh, Tubera you know um, something has to be first um, approved and once it is approved it has to go through the formal um, publication process now sometimes this step is skipped uh, I won't delve into that. There are some examples also related to our gun laws, if you can believe that. But uh, yeah, it has to be published. And that is if you're going to, uh, if the general statements are 100% accurate, that is where we are now. The law has been approved. It is now being published for it to be effective and binding. It has to be published. And that process takes at least 15 days. So there you go. So, when can we expect this thing to come out? Um, it is kind of cryptic because they didn't really tell us the exact date. And despite the fact that I've already written the PNP and PNP FAO, PNP CSG and PNP FAO letters, I have still haven't received a reply from those letters. So, how can we tell when this will come out so that we can finally prepare on when to buy our semi-auto rifles. A lot of you here uh, were still young people when the ban was implemented seven years ago. So when can we expect this to happen so that we can finally prepare to buy our own semi-auto rifle? Okay, so I think that the safest bet, if we're going to really presume that you know there's going to be a lot of challenges and roadblocks to it, would be cute two or q3 of 2024 okay but given the seemingly accelerated pace at which this thing is coming out already and the mainstream media has already also reported on it we have to look for certain clues on when this will come out okay 
And I would like to bring your attention to a post by PNPFEO, which they just posted you know, a few hours ago, which is the public advisory on the adjusted schedule of fees. So if you're going to look at this, you will find here that there are two posts here. One is on the LTAP and one is on the FA reg fees. Now, we are not really interested in those fees as much as, as expensive and as heart attack inducing as they are in being very costly. We're not interested in that. We are going to look at the bottom left hand side of this post. You will see over here, there's this thing that says effective March 16, 2024. So that is very interesting, guys, because when you say that this will be effective in March 16, 2024, why would you even go out and say that when this thing has already been effective for many months now? Since last year, in fact, since the passage of Republic Act 11766. This has been in effect. In fact, I got my uh, LTAP renewal months ago and I've already paid these fees. But according to this, it will only be effective on March 16, 2024. So that's very interesting. Why is that so? This is a form because this is a formality, guys. This isn't this isn't exactly something that will only take effect on March 16. This has been in effect on for a while now. But my estimate here is that this is just simply how it will be published. Okay, it has already been effective for a while now, but this is just a formality due to the publishing process. So what exactly will happen on March 16, 2024? And guys, do not quote me on this. Please do not quote me on this. This is not legal advice. This is mere speculation. This is mere hearsay. This is just me theorizing on what could that date possibly be at best case scenario where everything goes smoothly. I think, guys, that March 16, 2024, because this news came out back in March 1, 2024, um, I think that this is actually the date at which the IRR, the new 2024 IRR for uh, Republic Act 10591 and the amendments introduced by Republic Act 11766 will now take place. So if you ask me, guys, super best case scenario, fearless forecast, we might see the ban lifted on March 16, 2024. And it will, there will still be, possibly be delays on this one because once they lift the ban, they have to write the memo. It has to be signed. It has to go through the process. It has to be distributed across many gun stores for them to finally have a piece of paper that says, we can finally sell semi-automatic rifles. So that is my theory on this one, on when we might see, best case scenario, the ban finally lifted. Pero, guys, I think we should just presume that this will take much longer than this. It will probably be around Q2 or Q3 2024. But regardless, it's very important to... Um, to not hope too much on these things, okay? So there you go. So that's the news update that I have for you. I hope that this is correct, but hope is not a strategy. So let me know on the comments down below what you think about this latest development and, uh, and what you think about all of this news coverage on this one. Again, the links are in the description below, so you can check for yourself what these are. So again, I hope you learned a lot from this, guys. And please, if you are interested in semi-auto rifles, support local gun businesses and start saving because these things are very um, expensive. The cheapest semi-auto rifle that you can buy here in the Philippines is at the very least, you know, uh, 60K upwards. <laughs> so you're not going to find them at much lower prices than that. That's pretty much the bottom of the barrel. And from that point on, it just becomes freakishly more expensive with some of them costing more than half a million. So it's that expensive, I guess. But that's life. So there you go. If you're interested, start saving now because when this thing is lifted, um, you can finally buy 
your uh, semi-auto rifles and ammunition again. So thank you very much, guys. And if you like what you see here, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, please check us out in Facebook. And if you like this kind of content, you really appreciate it, guys. You can give a one-time donation to the Buy Me A Coffee link down below um, so that the show can continue. So thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next update. Good luck to us all, and I hope that this ban is finally lifted.